Hi, my name's Alex, and this is Proving Impossible. I am headed to uh, pick up some parts right now. I uh, should have a fresh new valve body for my 4R100, uh, which is the transmission for most of your 7.3 liter power strokes. Um, it's a good transmission. Hopefully, this is all I need to do. $100 valve body fix, slap that thing in, and um, get back at it. Uh, so, I also got, I also have another surprise. Uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I should have the parts here in a little bit. Oh, I gotta stop by AutoZone. I gotta pick up some transmission fluid. Uh, some kind of drain pan, because I'm doing this in a parking lot. So, I should be fine. Uh, yep, that's it for now. Alright, parts are here. Uh, what do we have? Let's see. One of these should be the valve body. The other is a surprise. What do we have here? Uh, screw that. Who cares about that? Oh, so, alright. So these aren't the valve body. Um... I guess let's talk about these real quick. These are front lower control arms for the GS300 or Toyota Aristo. Are they, are they the right ones though? Let's see. Yeah, they look like the right ones. Alright, so what I've done is instead of taking the control arms out of my car, and then pressing new bushings into them. Uh, polyurethane Super Pros from Figs Engineering. Um, I instead decided, hey, wouldn't it be smarter to just order the control arms if they're cheap and then press the bushings into these new fresh control arms and then just swap them out when the time comes? That way I don't have to take my car apart, go run somewhere, get them pressed in all my cars in pieces I don't know I, I just thought this was a better idea all right so enough with that they look like they're the right ones um let's see valve body this should be the valve body so that was marked fragile if anything this one should be marked fragile <laughs> no such marking okay so the brain of a transmission does not warrant the fragile stickers, but cast iron control arms do? I don't understand. Alright, whatever. No, bear with me for a minute. Alright, staples. This is the right one. Looks like it. Yeah, so it should be the accumulator and the lower. So I believe the valve that's sticking is. This one here, I believe, is the one that gets stuck. Yeah, I think that's the one. Or it's this one. Uh, yeah, it's one of these two. It's the one that gets stuck. Um, and it's because the bore at the end of the um, valve housing, the valve body, um, is the machine well enough, is the machine close enough, so they also I think upgrade with some higher pressure springs in here, it gives it a much firmer kick, so, uh, alright, I'm gonna go run off to AutoZone and pick up a transmission filter, and some transmission fluid, and a transmission drain pan, or oil drain pan, and I'm gonna get at this. Looks like it's all going to work, I think. I hope. Fingers crossed. Ah, what a day. 
and got the transmission fluid and filter. Let's get on the road. All right, so let's see what tools I'm gonna need to get this done. Oh. Looks like half inch and three eighths or ten millimeter or thirteen mil and half inch. Uh, let's see what we got. All right. So I think maybe that might work, but I'm just gonna go straight for the impact because you know more power, more power is all. nice and clean look at that wow it's brand new well actually this makes sense you know if you're having transmission problems you're probably going to be you know wanting to do one of those transmission flushes see if it's not gonna you know fix up the sticking and that kind of stuff so we're gonna let that drain and you know what actually helps a lot of times um, a lot of people don't do this but it can really help to, oh, my door's locked. It can really help to um, pull the dipstick. It's got no ring on there and it seals pretty well. So if you crack the dipstick too, it'll help drain a little bit faster. It's a good trick. It helps sometimes. Where is it? Here we go. All right. See that o ring? Yeah, it seals pretty nice in there. So, yeah, that should do it. That's all you got to do. And that should uh, help our draining here. I'm going to get a nice flow. Oh, yeah, look at that. Just can't get over how clean it is. Look at that. It's beautiful. I really hope this is going to go well. You know? Um. Good truck. It's done me well so far. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. Got some leak in there. I need to get this thing an oil change soon. Just especially if I uh, get this trans working and I start beating on it. It's going to these big old uh, drum emergency brakes on it. It's kind of fun. This exhaust system's wrecked. I gotta replace this. Ugh. Look at that. Almost done. Yeah, so I don't know. I was kind of thinking this might be an electronics issue. I was worried about that. I mean, I just put in a new driver's seat and changed out the steering column because it had a bad, like the bushings were bad. It had like a half inch of play. It was hella scary to drive. Um, so I swapped out the dash. Uh, well, sorry, swapped out the steering column, steering wheel, um, rebuild it all, cleaned it up put in the uh, the new uh, seat out of like a 2008 uh, E150 bolted right in uh, mint um, yeah so I was just convinced that I'd messed up somewhere it was my fault it was my problem oh it looks like we're we're about done there uh, yeah so I was convinced it was my problem it was something electrical so I put this chip in and then you know the TS performance chip and I was really excited about it but then I got a check engine light not a check engine light the uh, overdrive light started blinking so I'm like oh shit I broke it I did something but I didn't even get to drive it so I disconnected the chip to make sure and that wasn't the issue so here we are and uh, this might be a quick video 
I'm hoping. I don't want to jinx myself. You know, it's transmission problems are pretty scary. But fingers crossed. All right, so just gotta put a nut back in on this and drop the pan here. never really managed to do that uh, without getting in trouble. I'm going to let that drip off for a minute. That's usually the best bet. All right, I think for this next part, we're uh, going to want to just wipe with some paper towel all that excess ATF fluid off. So, you know, you don't have to go spinning it in your face with the gun, you know? You're gonna have to clean up your mating surface anyway. Let me put the new gasket on there. You might as well just go through here with some paper towel and just kind of just get rid of some of this fluid so it's not dripping all in your face and everything. It's pretty helpful. I guess I can just pull this off. Uh, filter right off. I should really put those gloves on. Hey, that'd be a great idea, wouldn't it? Let's see my head. There we go. Put the gloves on. I hate the feel of automatic transmission fluid. Uh, there's only one thing worse. That's differential gear oil. Oh, man. That stuff smells like hell. Alright. I think this just comes right out. I don't want to pull on it too hard. Yeah. There we go. Whoa! More fluid. Got some more on my face. That was great. Should have seen that one coming. Alright. Uh, yeah, so back to what I was saying. Um, you know, do as I say, what as I do. It's probably going to be a lot of what goes down in these videos. This is the way you guys should do it. But 
this is what I'm doing. Oh yeah, look at that paper towel is just already off. See if the dog goes for something. Right in the mouth. Oh, sh uh. oh! Find some star keys. Great. What a pain in the ass. I gotta take the gloves back off. Who uses star keys? Really? Why? Oh shit! Oh, automatic transmission fluid. This stuff is the worst. Oh man, even tastes bad. All right, so. What do we got? Star keys. That's what. Oh, here we go. Right on top. Come on. It does not get any better than that. Well, those are the kind with the holes in the top, too. The safety ones. All right. So, uh, uh, solenoid pack, valve body, accumulator body. Here's the oil pan. It is remarkably clean. I'm very excited. I'm very happy. This is super good news. So hopefully one of these gigantic pieces of shit just got stuck. Let's see if I can find the valve that got stuck. Oh. It might actually be... Uh, it's supposed to be on this end. Let me see if I can go get a screwdriver and see which one was sticking because I saw this other guy on YouTube and that's what he did and I'm gonna see if uh, I can have the same walk here well that one moves that one moves that one moves That one moves. That one feels fine. Here we go. Nope. That's good. That's good. That's good, I guess. Plug doesn't look too good. Plug's got all kinds of nasty stuff in there. Maybe that's part of the issue. Alright, uh, I had to look it up. I got it now. Uh, there we go. There's one. Uh, two. It's hard to see that one. Uh, three. And four. So there were four. Uh, that would have been bad if I just tried to slap it together. And, um, which I was about to do. Alright, so there we go. Let's snap back together. Alright, here's where we're at. Time to wrap it up. Uh, gotta install that valve body. I'm not, not so enthusiastic now that, you know, everything seems to be moving smoothly in the old one. Kinda worried I just wasted a hundred dollars. So, we'll see. At least I'll know what's in there. Um, maybe it's an electrical problem after all. But uh, the pan's clean, so it doesn't look like I've torn up any gears or anything. Alright, let's get back at it. Oh man, we'll get that... Oh man, we'll get that mess under there. Oh, that's... That's nice. Alright. Let's get back at it. Nope. Oh, did I get transmission fluid in my ear? Oh man, that's super gross. I guess I actually didn't need to take this guy off. Could have left this one after all. Oh, 
this city you live in, you learn. Filter installed. What do you guys think I should use a big gun in the other thing? That'll get everyone excited, right? A half inch gun on oil pan bolts. 10 millimeter bolts. Gotta show them who's the boss. Otherwise, try and take advantage of it. I'm not looking forward to pouring transmission fluid in it. Pouring eight gallons, sorry, two gallons through the uh, dipstick. Ugh. Not my idea of fun. famous quick change oil change mechanics forget to do All right, time to fill her up. Old valve body's out. Got a funnel on the transmission dipstick hole, and I'm gonna pour these two uh, jugs in there. And we're gonna hope it works, right? I don't know. I'm gonna hope it works. And away she goes. a mess and more tranny fluid all over me I'm starting to think I like this tranny fluid or something aren't you guys oh. all right I'll just update you guys when I'm done this is slow and boring and we're done So 
so I have thoroughly coated myself in transmission fluid. Uh, it's in my hair, it's in my mouth, it's in my nose, it's under my skin, it's everywhere. Uh, let's hope this works. So far so good. I guess I gotta kind of put it in every gear first. Let it, you know, work through the different... Let the transmission pump and solenoid work to uh, pressurize all these different valves. Okay, so... Reverse works. Close the door. Feels fine. That's got a nice little jump to it. We're leaking. Uh oh. It shifted. But it was the same thing, and my overdrive light's blinking again. It's like I wasted a hundred dollars. Put it in second. Let's put it in first. And let's see if it stays in first. Alright, so first works totally fine. Let's try second. I have second gear. definitely feels like second gear. It has to be a simple, just real simple like electrical problem of sorts. I don't know what else this could be. 